All right, what's up, everybody? We are on season one, episode seven of Chainsaw Man, which is called The Taste of a Kiss. I guess they're already kind of giving away what the outcome is going to be, because reading that title, I was, of course, immediately reminded how um, I think it was Himeno who, in episode five, kind of offered that up as a potential reward. And so <laughs> perhaps Denji is going to be getting it regardless. We know, of course, from the last episode that Denji is about to be jumping into this devil's mouth. That was a very creepy one, but um, yeah, he talked about, of course, he was going to get the chainsaws out, and I think, honestly, the outcome of that was already kind of set in stone for me, like, of course, he's going to be defeating it, and it will be the first of many, because we, of course, know that, that this devil should have one of those bullet pieces, and they're going to need quite a couple ones, I would think, um, to finally track down the location, then, of the gun devil, which is kind of the main boss, of course, that we're working up towards, so I definitely... You know, didn't have too many, uh, um, yeah, how should I put that, reservations about where the story was going to go from here or whether this devil was going to be defeated or not. Again, judging by the title, I would think that, like, that settles it for at least what's going to happen here. But, yeah, curious to see where they take it, of course. I mean, last episode in general was interesting because it was a lot, it was kind of a change of pace, I should say, from all the episodes prior to that. We kind of delved a little bit more into the mindset of some of the characters and the the panic that can come with that job, right? Especially, of course, I'm thinking about the girl who I think was called Kobani or something, right? I mean, I think that's at least the way it was written, but probably not pronounced because I always suck at Japanese pronunciations. But uh, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, she was panicked the hell out. And I don't know if being a devil hunter is necessarily something that is cut out for her, let's say. But then again, she talked about it was either that or becoming a, se a sex worker. So, <laughs> you know, I understand that she didn't really have much of a choice, I guess. But yeah, it, again, like, it, 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 it kind of showed you the despair of the situation, right? And so now I'm looking forward to seeing where they take that, um, whether we're still going to be dealing with these, these characters then in the future, I would presume so, because they're just setting up a bunch of stuff that's going to be more important later on. But uh, yeah, I mean, we're already, I think, past now the halfway point of the season, which is crazy because it's going to be quite a short season in general, therefore. Uh, it's a couple minutes here past six, so I'm just honestly super eager to dive in, and so that's exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. But of course, guys, if you enjoy my reactions here to Chainsaw Man, I cannot stress out enough, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, because that way uh, you will be updated whenever I post these reactions on a weekly basis. Uh, of course, there's a bunch of other content to check out over my channel, so make sure you go and do that, and the full-length reaction for all these episodes will be linked uh, you know, on top of the description because it's over on my Patreon. So go and check all of that out. And then for now, let's dive into episode seven of Chainsaw Man. Right back in. Oh my God. <laughs> she never has any faith. Now she might. Wow, he's immediately going to town. What the hell? He has like, he even has like faces within. And in the meantime, Denji is just being grabbed by all his tubes. What, can she just sense that from a distance, or <laughs> she just basing that on what they're hearing? Oh my god, this thing is creepy, dude. Are they retracting already? Oh, yeah. So what, are, are they gonna... Are they going to be donating their own blood from above, or...? <laughs> Is that what's happening? Wasn't it the bad devil that complained about the quality of the blood and stuff? <laughs> oh, 
to buy the books. Mm, yeah. No, Aki is by the books, but he's not really afraid, I think. <笑>そのうち重野郎にたどり着くぞ。で、アンダミスクルートレガーレス。アイギャスイミンズ。やだ。やだ。やだ。やだ。やだ。やだ。やだ。やだ。やだ。やだ。やだ。やだ。やだ
Dude, this is literally what I brought up last episode, and I wonder if I was justified in it, you know? Could she be aligned with the devils themselves somehow then? Is that is that what she's questioning about? Okay. We're, we're partying, dude. Make a talk while she's drunk. Wait, where is Makima? I didn't even see her. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll see the real version of these characters. <laughs> oh, there she is. Okay. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> Is kanji like different from the regular Japanese they talk or? Oh shit. <laughs> oh man. Oh <laughs> If I remember right. <laughs> and, you know, other things, but. T. I feel like Denji wouldn't even be much different when he's drunk. That's the thing. <laughs><笑> <laughs> She's down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the translation, dude. Damn, she has eight sisters. Oh no, she's already having trouble talking. Yep. I'm just waiting for Makima to come in, though. <laughs> she already was when she wasn't, in all fairness. Oh, no. <laughs> oh shit. Those vibes that Makima gives off, dude. So mysterious. I feel like she's gonna drink and not change a bit. Dude, she's like Legolas. I feel a slight tingle in my fingers. <laughs> I think it's affecting me. <笑>でも同じくらい強い気持ちでやっぱりペロキスしたい。前までこんな早いペースで肉炎を持つ悪魔は現れませんでした。この間の伝授を狙った悪魔といい、最近少し悪魔の動きが怪しいですよ。マキ
Oh my god, no, they did not just do that. Fucking hell. Nah, I did I did not see that coming and I didn't want to see that either. <laughs> Remotely nutritious. Oh my no, 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 no. Don't do that ever again. Oh shit. Oh, that's what it reminded him of. What a joke. Yeah, fucking idiots. <laughs> he was much younger there, too. <laughs> this show is crazy. <laughs> He's still uh, recovering. Oh no. Himino is walking off with him? <laughs> he better not be getting more of it. <laughs> Oh, maybe he's getting something better? <laughs> Yo, she can't stop. This show sometimes, dude. I have no words. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh boy, what an episode, man. That, that flew by. I doubt he's gonna say no to that. Honestly, when does a guy ever say no to that? Look at this creative outro again, dude. The, all the projections on the TV. Oh wow, yeah, it's like a it's like a retro video game, man. Oh, I love that. Pixel art. Oh my god, guys, this was one episode to remember, that's for sure. Uh absolutely batshit crazy. It's everything that I did love about this show from the very start. And so uh yeah, man, <laughs> I don't even really have like that much to say about it. I was yeah, I, I really enjoyed just how the show handled for example, the, the, the first 10 minutes fighting the the devil, I mean, it just made clear how crazy Denji is, of course, and that, that very much played into what Himeno was told about how, like, yeah, to go up against the, the gun devil will need somebody who is crazy and who isn't predictable, I guess, right? Who you can't read, who, who doesn't have the regular human emotions of fear, which would be very normal, of course, to have in a situation like that. And so... It, you know, like the, the thing, for example, I thought about is like, okay, Aki has very much this personal motivation, right? And Himeno understood that like, um, she was, I mean, I, I always, well, I did read it last episode. Well, I didn't really, you know, realize this in a moment, but as I was then editing the episode and stuff, I started realizing, realizing like, oh, well, she actually really has a thing for him too, right? Um, that's what, what, that's the impression that it gave me. And so in order to protect Aki, she needed to find that crazy person and she found it in denji then at the same time of course i'm a little bit weirded out like okay, uh, right now like okay does she actually like denji now instead of aki or how does that work or you know like like is she still does she still feel that personal attachment to to aki or is she just jumping to denji now or what's what's actually going on i have no idea but um yeah, the auto, I, and then of course that all translate and it translates into the puke kiss, which could, yeah, I could never have seen that coming, and <laughs> just had me in complete fucking tears. I, uh, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Um, 
But I think the one thing that I then do still find very fascinating is, of course, Makima. And Makima is kind of, it's interesting how they keep bringing it up too and how it was something that I myself, I literally asked this question during the episode last time around and I didn't know whether it was warranted. That the devil bringing up uh, Denji and trying to sort of make a deal with them, right? To give up Denji and stuff. That made clear to me that like, oh, these devils actually, they know about Denji. How? Like, does word of mouth spread from all the uh, devils and stuff? Or how does that work? And now they are openly starting to question even Makima's role. Which, of course, Makima has been giving off super suspicious vibes from the start. And that's making me think, oh shit, is she somehow aligned with the devils in the first place? Is she working with them without uh, telling anyone what's exactly going on there? I mean, she, like... Of course, the whole public safety could be in on it. Those those guys higher up than her could be in on it too. Or maybe she's even hiding it from them, right? Um, yeah, she clearly was not affected by the alcohol and she's, she has a very sort of robotic type of personality. I, I'm starting to think now like, oh, is she not actually really human? You know, could, could, that, be, could that be a possibility? Like, is she a devil that just completely looks like a human or something like that? Um, I mean, it showed here clearly how everyone was affected by the alcohol to some extent, and she wasn't. And I think it's only normal that in real life, people do get affected by it. Uh, you'll hardly find anybody not <laughs> undergoing any personality change when drinking too much. But her literally not being affected by it is kind of a giveaway that that could be a possibility or that there's clearly something going on with her, right? And so I'm, uh, that's kind of the direction that I'm thinking in right now. And I still have lots of questions and reservations about it, that's for sure. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed my reaction to Chainsaw Man Episode 7. I, I feel like I keep finding new favorite episodes in the show <laughs> because this one might be my favorite yet now at this point. So uh, yeah, man, absolutely loved it. I hope you all enjoyed the reaction. Like I said, full length reaction is up on Patreon if you want to check it out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And then for now, I want to thank you all for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you back in the next episode.